This is the Living in South Louisiana channel. Hey, are you looking to move to Laplace and do you wish that you could have a bird's eye view of the city so you could see where you are in relation to Baton Rouge and New Orleans and everything else, where the good restaurants are and things to do as well as the good grocery stores? If this is something that you're interested in, then this video is for you because we're doing a Google Maps tour of the city and we're getting after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to this channel and you want to know anything and everything about eating, sleeping, playing the good and the bad of living in South Louisiana, then make sure you subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the real estate market here in South Louisiana. My name is Carson and Natalie and I are real estate agents with Weikert Realtors Lotion Properties. We're also investors and private money brokers as well. What we want you to know is that if you are looking to buy a home or sell a home in the next nine days or 90 days, whatever it is, guys, give us a call, shoot a text, send us an email, schedule a Zoom call with us. We're here to help you make that smooth move to South Louisiana. Now let's hop in the computer. Hey everybody, welcome to the map tour. Like I said, we're doing Laplace today. This is your bird's eye view so that you can see where you are in relation to everything else, where you can find your good restaurants and things to do. So Laplace is a city of about 30,000 people. You are just west of Lake Pontchartrain and you're sitting right there on the Mississippi River. Uh, a couple things to note about Laplace. There was, um, there was pretty bad um effects from hurricane ida in laplace there's lots of renovations going on in laplace a lot of investors kind of swooped in and did their job and fixed up a lot of these properties so a lot of what's for sale are recently done flips renovations it's about 80 homes on the market right now in laplace inventory is starting to creep up a little bit good news we've had a record low inventory shortage not just laplace but the entire country we're short some experts say 4 million homes were short, um, which is quite a lot. So we've never had this few homes on the market, but it does seem like we're having a uh, market shift. Sellers are starting to um, do price reductions. Days on market is going up. So we are experiencing a little shift. Now in Laplace, the price per square foot for the last 60 days has been, uh, has been about $110, which is cheap considering that Orleans Parish average is maybe 236 right now. So far, far past the 110. Um, where I live over here in Mandeville, price per square foot's about 180. Okay, so you are, you are in an affordable place and that's one of the best, the best parts about Laplace is that it is very much so affordable. Um, I want to show you first where you are in relation to the other bigger cities. So it is kind of in the middle of Baton Rouge and New Orleans. I'm going to get out my drawing tool so I can show you how to get from place to place. Okay, so you are about an hour from Baton Rouge. And to get there, you're just going to take I-10 right here. This is the plus. So you're going to take I-10 and come up here to Baton Rouge. It's going to take about an hour. If you're going from Laplace to, say, uh, Metairie, again, you're going to take I-10. And you're going to come up this way. It'll take you about 20, 25 minutes. Airport is right here. And you're about 15 minutes away from the airport. Okay. If you're going to the North Shore, you would just get off I-10 and take the causeway right across. You're about an hour to the North Shore, and then you're about 30 minutes. So you're taking I-10 again, and you get off French Quarters about right here. Okay. So again, that was an hour to Baton Rouge, 15 minutes to the airport, 20 minutes to Metairie, and about 30 minutes to New Orleans. All right. So let's zoom in again. And I'll show you what you can expect to do in Laplace. So it's kind of a, an outdoorsy swamp lifestyle that you've got going on. There's literally a swamp right here. And here is where you're going to do all your fishing, hunting, camping, etc. I'll show you a couple pictures of the swamp just so you can see what it looks like. And there's going to be all kinds of swamp tours and kayak tours. Some of them offer sunset kayak tours, which is great. 
that is almost the extent of your activities to do in the city of Laplace. There is one really cool attraction that I want to show you. It's called Zip Nola. Okay. And what it is, is essentially zip lining in the swamp. I'm going to show you some pictures of that. And so I was, I was reading the reviews on niche.com for city of Laplace, which is where I get basically all my research for these videos. And, um, so shout out to niche.com, no affiliation, but in about, uh, 2018, there was a lot of reviews saying, man, there is nothing to do for my kids. There's no attractions, no places for me to take my kids on the weekend to have a good time. And so this is a newer place that I guess came from the, um, from, from the residents saying there's, there's nothing to do for my kids. And so they added in the little zip line course and it's, um, I mean, that's, that's a really fun thing to do. That's an outdoorsy thing. That's not like, um, like I said, you're mainly, you're mainly going to be doing outdoorsy wildlife, um, activities if you're living in Laplace, but if that's not your thing and you're moving to Laplace, you can always come right over here to Metairie. Like I said, 20, 25 minutes away, and there's tons of things to do, tons of attractions. And then, of course, there's plenty to do in New Orleans, which is, again, 30 minutes away. So next thing I wanted to do is show you guys where your restaurants are. They're pretty much all in the same uh, middle area of Laplace, and I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So here's all your restaurants right here. They're all kind of along the same road, road almost. There's some really good Mexican restaurants that I like, being El Paso right here and La Caretas right here. That's my mom's favorite restaurant. She likes queso. She likes the queso. She puts um lots of it on her quesadillas so yeah cheese on the inside and outside because you can't have too much cheese i make my own queso we make it um we make it pretty often natalie and i do and it's basically just for all of you who are wondering just white american cheese we just get the slices from the deli and then jalapenos green chili peppers cumin and milk that's it and you just kind of melt it in a pot and stir it a little bit and you're all set so we make that quite often and we get our ola nola chips that's the that's our favorite brand of chips to eat them with so raisin canes is right here frost top excuse me and there's a chilies um there's not you're mainly dealing with fast food restaurants and a couple local restaurants but nothing like super fine dining or anything. If you want to get dressed up and go have a really expensive steak and um, have that, that kind of experience, you're going to want to come down to Metairie or the New Orleans area. And that's where you're going to find your fine dining. But in Laplace itself, you're not going to find it. You're going to find your fast food, like I said. And I mean, you got a Chili's, you got some nice restaurants, but... Um, nothing, nothing too crazy. And then next thing I wanted to do was show you guys, um, some of the homes on the market. Now we did do a full vlog tour of Laplace. So go check that video out. If you want to see more of what Laplace looks like in person, I've shown it to you on a map, but if you want to see what those houses look like in person and what the city of Laplace looks like itself, Go check that video out but let's hop into the zillow website and uh look at some houses on the on the computer all right guys let's check out some houses on zillow so i'm actually just going to be showing you the three different homes that we showed you in the vlog tour of laplace make sure if you want to see what these houses look like in person as well as the neighborhoods that they're in as well as the city of laplace in general make sure you check out that video because we cover just about everything and we do a complete vlog tour of the city in that video but enough rambling our first home is right here this is the first one we showed you in the video it's a four bed two bath 
it's uh, listed at 239,000 and it's got 1,895 square feet. So price per square foot on this one is 126. This is one of the recently redone flips. I told you that Hurricane Ida did come through, unfortunately, and hit Laplace pretty hard. So because of that, we do have a lot of these flips on the market. Close to half of them are these, uh, these flips done by investors. So let's go to the second page where we're going to find our second home right here. It's listed at 335,000. It's a four bed, two bath, 2,770 square feet. Price per square foot on this one's about 121. Best part about this house, in my opinion, is the trees and the front yard. Of course, there's the, the floors and the white cabinets that everyone just loves nowadays. There's two ceiling fans in the living room making the house a little bit unique and natalie and i did show a house the other day with four ceiling fans in the living room there was about 12 switches on the wall i guess four of them were for the the fans so let's go on to our last home this one's in a really nice subdivision it's called bell tear it's a four bed three bath 2322 square feet listed at four hundred and twenty thousand which means the price per square foot on this one is 180. So let's look at the pictures for this house. It's actually waterfront. Master bedroom's really nice. Good floors, open floor plan it looks like. And here's the best part. Look at that. All these houses are on this little piece of water right here. Yep, yep. So again, this is in a subdivision called Beltaire. It's one of the nicer subdivisions in Laplace. But anyways, guys, those were the three homes that we showed you in that vlog video. Go check that out for more um, for more visuals. And uh, that was about it for today's video. I uh, hope you found value in this video. And if you did, do me a favor, subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. And if you have any questions about anything I said in this video or any of our other videos, or if you're looking to buy a house or sell a house in the next nine days or 90 days, whatever it is, guys, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom call with us. And we'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to South Louisiana. And other than that, see you around town.